Hello everyone, my name is Derpishnoff, but you may call me D, and welcome to my Q&A video. Um, before we get into the questions, it is here. The, the award is here, the little plaque thing. Let's go find it. Ba -da -da -da. It comes with like a little letter saying that, do you remember your 100th or your 1,000th subscriber? It's real sweet. But here it is, guys. The play button. I am so excited for this. I've been wanting one of these like my whole life, to be honest. I've always been a huge fan of other YouTubers like Markiplier. And I remember when a lot of my favorite YouTubers would get their play button. And now I, I have one to hang on my wall. It's gonna go right right above this skeleton poster right here. Yeah, this is so, so exciting, guys. But it's so pretty and shiny and it has like a mirror. So you can, uh, you can see what I'm using to record. So yeah, thank you guys for 100,000. You guys are beautiful and lovely and your guys' fan art recently has been also been so beautiful and lovely. Let's set this somewhere safe before my cat finds a way to um, destroy it. And let's get into these questions you guys have. Ghoulzilla asks, what's your favorite band or artist? Um, this is really hard because I listen to a lot of music. Um, I've been listening to a lot of Glorb and Boy What recently. This is really hard. Hmm, I'll throw on screen some of like my favorite songs. This is my favorite song. It's it's from Cash and Gold. That's my favorite song of all time. Artist um, Marion Ayes. Uh, what's your personality type? And she's talking about the M. MBTI test, which I've done. I'm an ENTJ, which I think is one of the rarest personalities for like a woman to have. But um, basically all you need to know about that is I am a robot. Um, and I, I think only like a robot. Amy Rose 11, are you open for art commissions or art trades? Also, do you plan on making emotes for the discord? So I am not open to art commissions or art trades at the moment. I'm very busy. I'm a baker and a cake decorator on top of YouTube. And I'm also like in the process of a bunch of personal like projects on top of the fact that I am married and I have to maintain my relationship. So um, I'm probably not gonna make emotes for the Discord. The Discord is very um, small for my community. Only very few people really participate at the moment. If my Discord got more popular, of course I would make emotes. Definition of constipated, lovely name. Um, how long have you been practicing art for? So I got this question a lot. A lot of repeat questions are gonna happen. This one's a lot. How long have I been doing art for? And I guess the obvious answer is since I was a toddler. Everyone's been like drawing and making art since they were a toddler. I only really, really started drawing when I was 12 and I hit puberty and I didn't really start focusing on art as an art form like until I was 16 and I started to take it really seriously around 2020. What's your favorite artwork you've ever done? Uh, it's gonna be this one. I am so sad I have not been able to recreate a better one recently but this is my favorite. It's so beautiful and elegant and she's so cool. What's your favorite outfit you've ever worn? This is this is very hard. This is the hardest question I'm probably gonna ever have because I wear a lot of fancy outfits. I, I'm just gonna say my wedding dress. Uh, I'll put on here my wedding dress. I have, it's, it's like a vintage wedding dress. It has a completely open back. It has a really long train, but it also goes up and it's super poofy and it has a heart cut out in the chest. It's my best dress and I, I only wore it like twice. <laughs> what's your most favorite art supply and what's your least favorite? So we'll, we'll say traditional art supply. Um, I like uh, like charcoal pencils. I'm really good at using charcoal pencils. That's what we use in like school and stuff or like graphite pencil artworks that I've done. I've been getting into colored pencils. I'm not the biggest fan of painting. I wanted to try to get back into it. I have here, I'll grab one of my paintings. This is the last painting I ever made. Um, and I said I had a love-hate relationship with it because it just wasn't turning out the way I wanted. It wasn't, I had a vision in my head and it wasn't, it wasn't going on the canvas. So that was, the, this is the last one I did. It's, it's okay. I think if I had like a varnish over, I might like it more because it's so shiny. Also, my mom um, did a great job of making sure to puncture a hole into it. And they say, um, congrats on the 100K. Thank you. 
And that was uh, Amanda Parrish 2408. Uh, for Shortcake 9046, are there any big art projects you have planned for the near or far future? And I do. I'm excited to tell you guys about this. So I've always wanted to make a video game. So I'm currently in the process of making my own video game. I have all the knowledge for it. I have a degree in computer science. Um, that is not something I'm going to publicly discuss unless it's completely done and published because I'm taking my time on it and I still have a lot to learn coding wise and coding is very hard. I've always wanted to make a comic. Eventually, someday, I'm going to make a comic. I have like 12 planned. One of them is eventually going to get on paper or a webtoon, I guess, digitally on your phone. And when that happens, of course, I'm going to advertise it to you guys. But that's going to be in the far future. What's going to happen probably sooner is I do plan on starting a second channel that's not art based. It's going to be story based. I, I've always had a passion for horror stories, so I plan on making a second channel about like horror story narration, but that's going to be a, a little, maybe a few months away. I'm not sure, um, but I'm not going to put a date on it, but eventually expect that to come around. GSPAE Pro. Did you start learning the basics or did you start off with goofy cartoon anime fan art for fun? And what is my favorite animal? Okay, so my favorite animal is a cat, obviously. I fucking- I am obsessed with cats. We grew up with a lot of strays growing up. I love cats. I did not start learning the basics. I started as like a coping mechanism, like art therapy kind of for myself. So I would just draw like these things so I didn't have hands, I didn't have feet, like it was for fun. Um, I didn't start learning the basics for a very long time. Um, I didn't, again, I didn't really take it seriously for another eight years. So I had a lot of fun for eight years and then I started to learn how to draw. <laughs> All right, um, Steam Dragon 13 asked, they asked what mediums would you like to try that you haven't yet? So I've tried a lot of mediums. Um, I didn't get my drawing tablet until I was 16. So I've done acrylic paint. I have not done oil paint graphite, charcoal, done like actual paper crafts. I've done stickers and vinyls. I've crocheted, cross stitch. I did cross stitch before I started to draw. So um, I've used like the little oil crayons and all that. The only thing that I have not tried that I would like to try is like watercolors. Like I dabbled in it as a kid, but I didn't know what I was doing. I would like to try watercolors. I have watercolor pencils. I don't even know how to start with watercolored pencils and I want to start working with markers too, but I have to commit to it, which uh, is a bit difficult at the moment because I'm so busy all the time. What is, okay, so user, jeez, did you, is this like a randomized username? Wow. User FZ4TZ4TK2E uh, says, what's your favorite mobile, mobile game? Um, that is going to be uh, Blue Tower Defense six the amount of hours i have in that game is embarrassing but it's just because i play with it with friends a lot it's a really easy game to play when you have four people that want to play the same game do you like pigs i do like pigs i actually don't like eating pork that much so i guess that makes me even friendlier towards pigs uh what's your least favorite color i hate the color yellow like yellow can be used in great situations like the animal crossing thing but if like you have a yellow shirt on that's ugly and lastly which is better coffee or tea um, I'm on tea, team tea. Um, I do like tea sometimes. I've grown to like coffee. I treat it a lot like chocolate. So a lot of my coffee tastes very chocolatey and that's why I like it. What is my favorite thing to draw? I really just like drawing cute girls. Um, I do like drawing gore, but I've limited it down a lot because of like, I don't want to trigger like YouTube's like, like guidelines. I don't want to do that. And I know some people are comfortable with it. So I've toned down my gore over the years, but cute girls with their intestines out. That's my favorite. It's just my favorite thing to draw. Uh, my favorite animal. Again, it's a cat. Little man, come show him, come show him why you're my favorite little boy. Come here. Don't bite me, please. Look how cute he is. Look how cute he is. He does not want to be picked up right now. <laughs> He's a precious baby boy. Um, how did you find your art style? I've gotten this question a lot and I'm, I'm not sure how to say. I don't, I don't know if I have an art style. I guess I have a kind of art genre. Like my art kind of all looks similar, but I'm kind of in a phase of trying to find my chibi style. If you're talking about my more like realistic style which looks like this this is kind of consistent i guess i just like picked up things that i liked from other artists really 
that's how I find the things I like. Um, I'm a fan of Don't Starve. I really like web comics and anime. Um, I've been leaning more towards web comics more than anime recently. I'll just see artists that I like or I'll see like speed paints I like and I'll just pull things I like from there and that's how I get my style. And what is your zodiac sign? I am a Taurus. My husband is also a Taurus. I don't know what that means, but I'm a Taurus. And that was from Tammy Draws, by the way. And then Cherry CC 2 lu what's your favorite fruit slash food? Fruit-wise, I like, I like mandarin oranges and I like apples. But, I, oh, I really like cherries too. So I guess those are my three. Um, I don't like raspberries, if that helps. And I don't really like mango. Um, and for food-wise, uh, I'm a sweets person, hence why I work in a bakery and I do cake decorating. I love sweets. Uh, I really like these like chocolate-covered frozen bananas like that I have. I eat those a lot. They're very delicious. I like cream cheese icing. It's like cream cheese icing cupcakes that are frozen specifically. I'm also huge on Takis. Love my Takis. All right, Denver Family 6683. You asked a lot of questions, which thank you. I'm happy you're so interested in me. How did you have the motivation to keep doing art in the early phases? So my my growing up is vastly different from your guys' growing up. And honestly, my peers growing up, I had a very weird childhood. I didn't have internet, TV, Wi-Fi, computer, anything. I was just like complete isolation around the ages of 11, 12, 13, and so drawing was my only form of comfort and entertainment. So um, the answer is uh, stare at a blank wall and then you'll, yeah, it becomes really fun after a while to do anything but stare at the ceiling all day. I also was just like a very creative kid. I liked stories and all that, and so I'd draw my characters and make stories, and it was just for self-entertainment, and that was it. And there was no pressure to upload or show people, because nobody cared but me. Again, what's my favorite thing to draw, of course? Little cute girls covered in blood. How long did it take to get better at drawing? Uh, a very long time. I started to say, if I started around 12, I'd say I started to get okay at drawing around the age of 16, so that was a four year gap. And then I had to learn digital art, which set me back like two years. I wouldn't say I got really good at art until I was like 18 or 19, so it took quite a while. Art is one of those things that you're always going to get better at slowly. There's never like, oh I'm good, I'm going to stop progressing, like you're just going to always be better. What app do I use to draw? All right, so on my tablet, I use Procreate. On my computer, I use Krita. Procreate, I use more often now for cute drawings and stuff, but if I like wanna make a comic or something, I'm probably gonna use this, um, but mostly my Procreate. Do you have any good drawing tablets or apps for beginners, preferably not too expensive? Tablet-wise, um, Wacom does if you're going to be on a computer or a laptop. Krita is completely free. Um, I got a $100 Wacom tablet when I was 16. It's gonna last you forever basically if you get one because they're really well built. They're cheaper now, I think they're like $60. To you that may be, seem expensive, but I'm telling you the only way you're gonna get art supplies is if you ask for it during Christmas. Everything I have, like I have a $400 Wacom tablet, like all my monitors, my computer, my tablet, everything I own is a gift for from a holiday. I didn't buy these for myself. I specifically like gave like my family members the Amazon link and I said, give me this and I will use it every single day. And they bought it for me and they're happy to see that I use these things every single day. That's probably your easiest way to get art supplies that's expensive. Do you like Avatar The Last Bender? And if you do, what's your favorite character? I have not watched Avatar The Last Airbender. I'm sure I'll watch it someday. Um, the blind girl seems funny from the clips that I've seen. Do you like Supernatural? And if you do, do you like Sam or Dean better? I have seen a little bit of Supernatural, not all of it. I'm a huge fan of Dean. I think Sam is utterly fucking incompetent but I've heard he gets better in the later seasons. And how's my day gone so far? Pretty good. I just woke up and did this. This is the first thing I'm doing. I have not even eaten breakfast or had my coffee yet. So after this, that's what I'm doing and I'm excited because I'm gonna eat pie for breakfast because I'm an adult and I can make terrible decisions for myself. But yeah, thank you Denver family. I really appreciate all the questions.
La Fieta La Baguette said, what's your favorite emoji? Um, it's gonna be this one, this sparkle one. I use this one endlessly. That's because I can make sentences like, let's commit arson, or uh, maybe you should consider getting hit by a car. I, like, I think it's the funniest thing ever. You guys, you guys might not think it's funny, but I laugh at my own jokes when I do that, but I use this sparkle thing. Mango Dog said, how did you choose the name Derpishtoff for your channel? I actually mentioned this in my 100k face reveal. Uh, my sister came up to me when I was like 11 or 12, it was like, your name, it's Derpenshoff. And I'm like, yeah, that totally makes sense. And then that's just my name now. Uh, do you have any other social media like Discord, Instagram from Cloudy the Snowy? Um, yes, I have a Discord that you guys can do. Um, it's not very active, but if you post art in there, I'm gonna see it. Like 100% chance, I'm gonna see it. If you say hi in there or talk, I'm gonna see it. I see every single message that goes through there. I have an Instagram. I don't really post much on Instagram, but if you ever wanna like chat with me or say hi, you can in message me through Instagram. Um, I have a TikTok. I don't really upload on my TikTok anymore, but if you like TikTok, I'm there. So that's all my social medias. I don't really have a Twitter or anything. What motivates you to continue your art career or in general art, let's just say art. Um, what makes me motivated to do art is, I guess I just really like it. I get, I get really bored if I'm not doing anything. And luckily for me, I've been doing art for so long that it's kind of like an addiction. So if I don't draw for a long period of time, I get like really like hyped up and like I got so much energy. I'm like, I gotta draw something helps me get my mind off the chaos of the world and being an adult so um, that's my downtime and I, I've been doing it a lot and it just makes me really happy also if I don't know what to draw uh, I just go through Pinterest I have a Pinterest board with thousands of things and I just scroll through it and I'm like that's a cool idea I'm gonna do my own spin on that idea uh, what's your favorite OC that you have made okay this is hard because I have a lot of OCs this one is the oldest one I have that I've not thrown away. Her name is Mercy. I want to make her into a video game. It's someday you're going to see a video game with this character. This could be like eight years from now, though. Uh, this is the other one that I really like. Um, her name is Essen, and she's like a super shy girl who's like got no confidence in herself. And by the end of the series, she's supposed to be like slaying dragons and stuff because she's become a bad bitch. And what's your favorite color in books? So my favorite colors are pastel pink and black. Um, I'll, I'll actually go get my favorite book. Give me one second. This bad boy right here, Killing Stalking, is my favorite book. Um, if you are under the age of 18, you cannot read this book. Don't go find it. If you're over the age of 18, um, it is very messed up. Like, like this is like a really messed up book. And I love it. I, I've also, like, I'm into, like, this thing called Matic. I, I just love it when my, my books are absolutely terrible. You know? Like, uh, I... Look, I like violence. I like horror. I like romance. And when you mix it together, it is the worst concoction ever. And this is, book is vile. Um, it's about a guy who's stalking a boy he has a crush on and he breaks into his house and the guy finds him but the guy he has a crush on turns out to be like a serial killer and holds him captive and breaks his legs and he develops stockholm syndrome and it's it's uh, um it's it's beautiful and i love it and um i don't recommend you read it <laughs> do you consider cheese a loaf of milk no never say that again as a baker that offends me <laughs> Um, your least favorite OC or character, uh, this one. This is, uh, he's supposed to be, like, the villain of the story, but he's a hero. He's basically just a rich prick who thinks he deserves everything and just... Favorite movie? Oh my god, hands down, uh, the, the Lost Star, whatever, Puss, Puss in Boots movie, the newest one. I've watched it two or three times. I'm probably gonna watch it again for a fourth or fifth time. I love that movie. If you have not seen it, you're missing out in life. That movie is gorgeous. And like the morals in that story are beautiful. Like it, it's an amazing movie and I highly recommend you watch it. Um, King Karopi said, why did you start your YouTube channel? It's because like at the time, um, 
I didn't have a lot of friends in high school, I didn't have a lot of family, and a lot of like my, I guess, social interaction was through YouTubers and I thought they were so cool. I thought YouTube was the coolest thing ever. It, uh, it was an interesting experience, like creating videos is a whole like art form in itself. And it was cool to think that I was doing something similar to like my favorite YouTubers like Markiplier and Jacksepticeye. I'll tell you right now, I expected a lot more people my age to have YouTube channels by now. It is, it's kind of weird that everyone I know in my personal life has never, like, other than my husband, who did gaming for a little bit, nobody I know has ever, like, uploaded a YouTube video in their lives. And that's crazy to me. Um, and lastly, do you prefer digital or traditional art? I do prefer digital art, but that doesn't mean I don't like traditional art. I've just, um, I just do more t digital art. Bungie says, huge congrats on 100k, thank you. What inspired you the most? Uh, it's hard to say like inspire because at the time it was just, it, I was bored. Um, now I guess what inspires me now is Happy Charms. Happy Charms, I'm like, my goal is to someday be like Happy Charms because she's so cool, her content's so consistent and beautiful, so I'd like to be like her. I try to make videos similar to hers now, she's a huge inspiration for me. Um, just like Markiplier and stuff, I, I, their YouTube channels are so cute, cool, I wanted to make one like them. Another, I guess, like, a uh, really weird side note of, like, what inspired me is growing up, like, my mom always compared me to my dad, artwork-wise. Like, he was a really good artist, apparently, and they're like, oh, you're just like him, you get your artistic ability from him. Well, psych bitches, I'm better at art than him now, so who who's getting it from who? Because I out-arted him, okay? You can't compare me to him now because I'm better than him. Um, and bonus question, what's your favorite flavor out of the three ice creams in Neapolitan? I don't like strawberry ice cream. I hate it. Um, vanilla's okay. Chocolate's the best. My favorite all-time ice cream is probably chocolate chip mint. I love chocolate chip mint. Um, Juniper Shroom said, how long did it take you to design your Sona main? I don't know what to call it. So you mean this drawing. Forever and also two seconds. So I've always had like little versions of myself, you know, every like once a year I'll draw myself and everything. And I just sat down and I'm like, what do I look like? You know, cause I'm like, I plan on doing a face reveal and I should probably have an avatar that looks like me. So I just drew what I look like and I just picked an outfit I have. All right, Artsy Ruquel? Do you play any sports? No, um, I was too poor for sports growing up. You had to like pay for your uniform and stuff and I could not afford that. If you do, which one's your favorite? Also, your art is so amazing, thank you. I do though. I really enjoy biking. I have an electric bike and uh, that's how I do a lot of my transportation. I do have a car, I just bike a lot. So I, I enjoy cycling. User ZZ7HN5HZNC says, show us your first drawing. Is this one. After my dad died, that was the first drawing I made. It was based on Katy Perry. Unknown Entity 666 says, do you like scary movies? If so, what's your favorite? I love scary movies. Most of them are like not good. And I think that's hilarious. I love terrible movies. But uh, for actual good horror movies, um, The Platform is one of my favorite movies. It's actually a social commentary on like poverty and like the poverty cycle, systematic oppression and stuff like that. Love that movie. Terrifying concept. Watch it. It's, it's really good. Uh, Mushroom Hat 927 says, what's your favorite mythical creature? It's, I'll say a silky. Uh, silky, silky. If you don't know what that is, it's like um, uh, it's a it's a seal that can take off its skin and become like a woman. I'm starting to realize you guys asked a lot of questions, <laughs> which is good. That's exciting. I'm glad I can answer them all for you. Demara do fun play five three seven seven. What's your favorite cat and macaron you have made? That's so cute that you like ah. So uh, I really like the pink one because that's the first one I made, but I also really like the strawberry one. And for the cats, it's like these three. And I believe that is all the questions I have had. We made it, we made it to the end. Woo. All right, I hope this was entertaining for you guys. I hope you guys learned a lot about me. If you guys wanna ask more questions below this video, I will respond to all of your comments personally. Again, thank you guys for all the fan art. Um, that is coming up. The due date is the 16th. And I've, I've been so excited to see all your fan art. You guys are beautiful and blessed. And you guys have such artistic ability. 
yeah i'm proud of our little community and i'm so excited to put this on my wall i only have this because you guys like my videos when i first started my youtube channel for a very long time i only got like one to two views a video and to know now that you guys like like love my art to the point where like i get millions of views sometimes it's it's hard to comprehend and i appreciate all of you and i hope you have an art block free day all right i'll, I'll see you guys in the next video bye